Um, Mr. President, when President Putin was questioned today about human rights, he said the reason why he's cracking down on opposition leaders um, is because he doesn't want something like January 6th to happen in Russia. And he also said he doesn't want to see groups formed like Black Lives Matter. What's your response to that, please? <laughs> My response is kind of what I communicated, that I think that's a, uh, that's a ridiculous comparison. It's one thing for literally criminals to break through cordon, go into the Capitol, kill a police officer, and be held unaccountable. And it is for people objecting and marching on the Capitol and saying, you are not allowing me to speak freely. You are not allowing me to do A, B, C, or D. And so they're very different criteria. Um, One of the mysteries of the January 6th insurrection is solved tonight. The D.C. medical examiner today ruled that Capitol Hill police officer Brian Sicknick died of natural causes. The autopsy report indicates Sicknick suffered from two strokes and a blood clot or from a blood clot the day after he confronted rioters. The medical examiner reports finding no evidence of internal or external injuries. Capitol Police had previously said Officer Sicknick was injured while engaging with protesters. He collapsed later that day and died eight hours later at a hospital. Two men are accused of assaulting him with bear spray, but neither is charged with his death. Both men have pleaded not guilty. The medical examiner told the Washington Post newspaper there was also no evidence that Officer Sicknick suffered any allergic reaction.